Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make the lemon peel crochet stitch. Uh, this stitch is gently textured. It actually uh, has the appearance of a lemon rind, hence the, uh, the name of the stitch. Uh, it is using just basic, simple crochet stitches. You'll only need to know the double and single crochets for this stitch pattern. And uh, today for this tutorial, I am going to be using my favorite crochet hook here, this Clover size H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. And I also am using uh, some Karen Simply Soft in Lemon. I thought this color would be appropriate for the stitch. So um, the Lemon Peel Stitch uh, is worked in multiples of two. And for your foundation chain, you will add one. So for the sample, I'm gonna go ahead and begin with a foundation chain of 31 to start out. So one, two. Twenty-nine, thirty, and thirty-one. So with thirty-one chains on my hook, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in that second chain from the hook. Then I'm going to work a double crochet in that next chain, and that is the uh, repeat of the stitch. You are working a single crochet in the next and a double crochet in the next. Single crochet in the next chain, double crochet in the next. And you're just gonna repeat that same sequence of stitches all the way down to the end of that chain. So single crochet, double crochet. Alternating those stitches through the end of this row. And uh, that up-down, that's another, um, some people call this the up-down stitch uh, because you're, you're going to that short, you know, single crochet and then up to the double crochet, the tall stitch. And it really creates an interesting look, as you can see. In the front, uh, it doesn't look very textured right now, of course, in this first row, but when you turn it over, you can see all that texture, how it bumps out that double crochet to create that little small poof in the back. Um, and then as we're working through our rows, that just builds. <clears throat> so just continue on working that same sequence, double, and single through the end of this row. So when we get to the end of the row, we have our last chain here to work. We're going to be working a double crochet in that last chain. And then we're going to be turning our work and chaining one for row two. And remember, we just worked a double crochet in that final chain to start out with for row two, we're going to start with a single crochet and we're going to repeat that same sequence, working a single crochet in the first, double crochet in the next. And if you're working this stitch with the right multiples, and you're working the stitch correctly, and you didn't miss any stitches, um, or work them twice, uh, which can happen if you forget where you're at, uh, what you should be doing is you should be working a single crochet 
in the top of the double crochet from the previous row and a double crochet in the top of a single crochet from the previous row. So you're just alternating those stitches back and forth throughout each row as well as um, throughout the pattern. So uh, as you're working up, you're alternating stitches as well as across. So single crochet, double crochet, and you're going to continue that on down through the end of this row. So when we get to the end of this row, again, uh, our final stitch is going to be a double crochet in that last stitch for row two. And so you can see how beautifully textured this is and it's building on both sides now and it's creating this gently textured fabric uh, that just really pops with just simple crochet stitches. So really, that is it. Uh, you're going to be repeating row two to the size desired. Uh, so you're just gonna continue on with row three by uh, chaining one, working a single crochet in the first, double crochet in the next. So I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you enjoy my tutorials, make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified whenever I post a new video. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. I love to see the projects that you make, so if you make any of my designs, be sure to add hashtag Nana's Crafty Home so I get to see your beautiful creations. As always, have fun with this, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.